moving forward, quarterback six. This is a really exciting one to talk about, guys. We have Justin Herbert back. We expect him to recapture the form he had two seasons ago. We're hoping last year was just a down year. It was a very frustrating year for managers. You can go back and find our review of quarterbacks last year to get the full wrap on what we think went wrong there and what we think it means for Justin Herbert. But now we got Kellen Moore coming into town, somebody who has been top 10 the last three or four seasons in place, pace of play in the NFL. Last year was a little down around 65 plays per game, but the last two years before that, around 68, 69 plays per game for Dallas, which was well ahead of the rest of the league. They added Quentin Johnson in the first round. We're hoping big Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, two very capable receivers, are healthy again. And then Austin Eckler, man, who has led the league in in uh, scrimmage touchdowns what, two, three years in a row. It is it is exceptional how well Austin Eckler has played. Why? I'll let you start off with talking about why you think he's going to be back into the top six and do you think that's a floor or do you think we're getting ahead of ourselves here? Uh, well, let me start off. And I think actually this probably started with like fields for me last, the, this last talk, but like we're in the section of these rankings where there are no wrong answers. Like all of these guys are so good. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. How like the level of QB play we have and the level of fantasy QB play that we have. But obviously last year was, really unfortunate for Justin Herbert with the offense and what happened. I think people forget about like he was playing through broken ribs um, too, which obviously had an impact. Um, we actually was, were getting some rushing production from him and that kind of ended after the, the ribs. So Kellen Moore coming to there, I don't think it can be like hyped up enough because of what he was doing in Dallas, you know, they're like top two in neutral pass or uh, neutral play rate, uh, for like three years running under Kellen Moore, bringing that to what was already a fast paced team, they could become more fast paced. Uh, I'm sure that Kellen Moore is going to actually help push the ball down the field more compared to last year. They drafted Quentin Johnston, which obviously helps the receiving core. I do think that like we could get another QB two overall finish from Justin Herbert. Like we got from him in his sophomore year, there is just like the slight concern that he's not running at all. And like, because of that, I have him behind fields. I just think that fields, you know, range of outcomes is a little bit higher than Justin Herbert. But as I said, like there are no wrong answers here. I'm super excited for the chargers. Justin Herbert is again, one of my highest drafted quarterbacks on underdog with Trevor Lawrence because of that. And that's the thing too, is like, I think his price is a little bit more appropriate. I believe he he actually gets drafted after Justin Fields uh, on underdog right now, which is why I have a little bit more of him compared to Fields. Um, that Those ADPs, are like, when we get up to this point, especially in this section, because, like, we still have the Elite 3 that kind of separated themselves while we're talking about this next section of QBs, it's what's their ADP? Um, and, like, what's their ADP in your draft? What's that look like? Um, that's what really helps me decide between which of these QBs I'm going to like, because I do think it is so close between all of them. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I think with the Chargers, I have the Chargers projected as one of the top five overall fantasy scoring offenses. So I think there's going to be value all across it. I think that, you know, a healthy Keenan Allen means so much to this team. He's the safest player there. But I do think Mike Williams is someone definitely to keep your eye on as someone who has huge potential in this offense. I don't currently have Quentin Johnson projected for all too much. But, of course, I do believe as well if Mike Williams does get injured that there could be a significant bump there. I guess my point here is that that's three really capable receivers, which there aren't a ton of quarterbacks in the league who get that range of options. You know, So it's really exciting for me. And with Justin Herbert, he's not as – completely out of the rushing game as you would like to think you know he still is a player who is who settles in and gives you around you know 50 to 60 rushing attempts which is going to give you you know 200 300 yards maybe a couple of rushing touchdowns which does again boost him a little bit above some of the purely pocket guys like that's you're doubling up what you get from Kirk Cousins right there for him. I know it seems very small, but those little edges when you get to this point of the draft, half a point per game, a full point per game with these quarterbacks, 
is pretty significant, right? That could be the difference of whether or not I'm going to take this player in round five, round six, or if I'm going to wait and take someone else round eight or round nine. So with Justin Herbert, I think we have a 30 plus touchdown season right there for him. One great thing I like, I like to see last year, of course, the overall numbers weren't quite there, but he did get much more accurate. I mean, he threw the ball at a 68% accuracy. His interception rate went all the way down to 1.4%. It was just really that touchdown rate. It was at 3.6% with the touchdown. Yeah, so low. Yeah, which, you know, the two years prior, that was at 5.4%. So he came down significantly almost two full percentage points, which is going to decrease your overall fantasy production rather significantly. So for a offensive coordinator who has routinely had a quarterback around 5% or more touchdown rate, it, it should be a really good season for Justin Herbert. It's a really good spot for him to bounce back. Um, and I, I just want pieces of this offense. I'm really hoping, hopefully in year one, it's not one where it's there's growing pains, but hopefully if we hit the ground running, there's there's going to be a lot of value on this team. Yeah, I agree.